Okay, my name is Jeff Morgan. I'm here at the Texas Federation of Republican Women in Irving Center in uh, Irving, Texas right now. I'm here with Jennifer Lundy. Jennifer, um, tell us a little bit about yourself because I know you've started this new group, a very excited group, that I'm a, a, a group that I'm very excited for, a group that is very much needed in the state of Texas. Uh, yes, it is very much needed. Um, it is the uh, Texans for Judicial Accountability. And um, our goal is to change some things with the State Commission on Judicial Conduct. We've, we've learned that when people make complaints, they are not always publicized. Actually, there have been 27,000 complaints filed in the last 20 years, and only about 215 of those have, come, have become public. So that's, that's our number one thing that we're trying to change. Um, also, uh, they have only 12 staff members with the SCJC, and for the size of our state, that is just not enough. Uh, I've, done, I've canvassed every state. Uh, for their SCJCs and the states that are comparable to ours have as many as 52 staff members. So that's something else that we're wanting to increase. Um, we also have the commission on um, the for the commission for them. Uh, they have uh, six six Supreme Court judges, um, or they're appointed by the Supreme Court, and then there are five public members, and then there are two put on by the state bar. Uh, we would like for that to be all public members with one member by the Supreme Court to be kind of over it but not be able to vote. And this is done in six other states already, so we know that it can happen here in Texas. Uh, there are several other things that we have going on, and uh, if you uh, are interested, are you interested in finding out? About oh, that? I am very interested. <laughs> We know that the uh, many people have come to completely distrust the third branch of government in the state of Texas. And when you distrust an entire branch, the judiciary, and it's not just the judges, it's also some of the dirty tricks that the attorneys pull as well. Um, you have, when, when you distrust the entire branch, you have a lack of confidence in your, in your government to begin with. But what we really see happening here, and I think you know this, is that there's been a lot of injustices committed, and we're supposed to respect the injustice because the judge is wearing a black robe. The judge has a law degree. The judge is somebody who was, is well respected within the community. But we've seen instances where judges have almost been able to commit felonies from the bench and they claim that they sometimes somehow have judicial immunity from any type of action that they've done. Is that what you've seen? And if so, how can we address this? Uh, well, that is absolutely what we have seen. We have, uh, you know, one case, uh, the, the case that got me into this, a uh, gentleman had... Um, he had been in court for five years, and from the very beginning of his um, court proceedings with this judge, he had been telling them that it, it was not in his jurisdiction. The judge admitted it was not in his jurisdiction, yet he kept him there five years. So the 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 man uh, was able to take it to the appeals court, and fortunately, the appeals court uh, overturned the entire process. Uh, you know, hallelujah, but still, this man went through five years of it. And unfortunately, this is not uncommon. Um, I didn't realize that it wasn't. Um, I've been a court reporter. I've worked in the Senate. Um, and it wasn't until his case came that I, I learned how egregious it is. It's all over the state. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what brought me to the point I'm at, to where I'm trying to make some changes for us. You know, and another thing that, I, that we're asking for is um, we are wanting uh, judges to not have unreported in camera hearings. A lot of these hearings are are completely decided before the judge uh, and the attorneys ever come out into the hearings. Um, so we want a court recorder in there with them. We also want cameras in the courtroom. Uh, that's so important. Um, I, I'm not saying that we want them uh, public, but they need to be there, and then the party, the parties need to be able to get that proceeding if they feel that they have been unjustly tried.